name is Jamie Arthur. I'm the former Commonwealth Games gold medalist and former Commonwealth professional champion and boxed for the British title three times. Three years ago, you know, I was in dire straits three years ago. You know, boxing was my main job, you know, so I relied on that in order to get my income, you know, and it's hard, you know, like I said, I didn't have main sponsors that supported me to be able to train full time, you know, so I was living on a shoestring, you know, and we're not like talking about football player shoestrings, we're talking about dire straits, not paying a uh, year rent for months, you know, and still having to go into full time preparation of, of fights, you know, to get, to get into good enough shape to be able to fight for major titles, you know, and now it's slightly different, you know, I've got a good job. Uh, I'm back doing what I enjoy doing. I'm a, I'm a draftsman by trade, you know. So I like using my brain for it today, and then my hands for it tonight. You know, so it's a case of now I'm in a position where I can focus. You know, I can I can be more dedicated. You know, I can live the right life, and I can aim to do something that I always set out to do and to win the British title. Automatically, yeah, that just puts me in a position then where. I'm inspiring the kids that I've got in the gym because I've got a gym full of young amateurs you know, that are doing really well and I'm always telling them that they should be doing what they want to be doing. You know, They should inspire and, and work hard to, to do something. And sometimes they say, why are you retired? You know, and I've got to think, yeah, exactly, why am I? You know, I'm, I'm only 35, but I'm a young 35. I'm not like I've, I've just been sat at the desk or I've just retired full time and not, not laced a pair of gloves since, since I retired. Now I've probably been doing 50 rounds sparring every week, you know, so I've kept my hand in, you know, I've been doing personal training. I'm still in quite good shape, I'm probably around about 10 stone 2 now, you know, so I'm still able and capable of winning the British title. The last fight that I had was against Scott Quigg in 2012. Um, not so much I retired a little bit prematurely, but my main aim was to set up Arthur's ABC where we are now. You know, it was to inspire and motivate kids to want to become young champions. You know, so that was pretty much taking over my life. You know, so after three years, not so much out of the game, still involved in the game, but not fighting myself. It's come to that stage now. We're at 35. You know, I've got a small window now to be able to dedicate myself to be able to achieve what I set out to achieve in the first place. You know, and that was to win the British title. But more importantly, you know, I've got elderly parents. They're getting on now. My dad's 81, and I'm 76. Within the next year, I'm going to build them a house. You know, so there ain't no. Maybe I'm gonna do it, maybe I'm gonna get the footings in. Within the next year, you know, they're gonna have a house that they're gonna move into. You know? And that's that's enough inspiration for me to have to put myself through hell in order to get what I want out of, out of boxing. You know, so there ain't there is no maybe I'm gonna do this, maybe I'm gonna do that. I'm coming back to kick ass. <laughs> it's as simple as that. You know? I know where I'm gonna go, I know I'm gonna get there. And all I've got to do is just make things happen and I'll get myself in a position where, where I want to be. I got my wife and I got my two boys, Oliver and Daniel. Um, and at the end of the day, without my family support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Wales is a great nation and I want to, I want to help fly the flag. You know, and show you that it's possible to be successful. I've worked hard for too long, for too many years, for me to throw it all away now. So, in order for me to be the best that I can be, I can do everything in my power in order to be a winner. If I'm going to be fighting, you better make sure that you've got a a big enough reason to have to try and stop because I've got a goal, I've got a destiny, I'm gonna do everything that I can in order to get it.